Hello and welcome. My name is Lisa Marie Fletcher and I am excited to have you join me on this Homeschool 101 program where we will walk through the how and what and everything you need to know to be able to get started your homeschooling journey with success and confidence. When I was 19, my best friend and I decided that we were going to travel across Scotland. The very first thing we did was went to the library and got as many books as we could that explained about traveling to Scotland and to research everything we needed to know so we could create an itinerary, we knew what to bring, all that kind of stuff. The next step on our adventure was to go to the outfitter shop to buy these giant backpacks, which we very carefully stitched Canada flags to, and then all the supplies that we needed, our sleeping bags, um, our rain gear, everything that we needed. So we bought all the stuff we did, and then we were off. We had an amazing adventure and a wonderful time. And homeschooling is a lot like taking a backpacking adventure. You need to start at the very beginning with at the outfitter shop, doing the research, learning as much as you can, and then getting everything you need so that you can go on your journey. So I thought I would take a minute and just explain how I've been visualizing homeschooling as a journey so that you can see the path that it takes from start to finish. So first stop is the outfitter shop. This is where you're going to learn about how to homeschool. You're going to buy the curriculum. You're going to see the supplies. You need to stop at this outfitter shop first before you get going on your journey. If you're starting from the very beginning and you're doing preschool, this preschool is like walking through the meadow. It's the first path along the journey. It is um, this big open space where you can go on an adventure and curiosity. You can wander wherever you would like. You can look at whatever you would like. You can have fun and enjoy the beauty along the path. As you get to elementary school, you start to go through the forest. And at first the forest is thin and you know there's only a few trees so you can wander where you want. But as you get further down the path, the trees start to come together and the path becomes more um, specific about where you need to go. So it becomes a little bit more intentional. When you get to middle school, it's like climbing up over the hills. So now we've got some hills, we have a very intentional path that we need to walk so that we don't get lost or fall off the edge of the hill or fall into a mud puddle, any of that kind of stuff. So when you're in middle school, it's kind of like going over the hills. It's a little bit more challenging. It's a little bit more intentional. It's a little more focused. And then you get to high school. And in high school, it's kind of like mountain climbing. You need to be very intentional. You need to be very focused. You need to know what your goals are, what your plans are, and you can see the summit up ahead. So you know exactly where you're aiming towards. It becomes very focused and exciting but the view from where you're going is breathtaking it just can be a little bit more work and then finally you reach the summit you've made it to the top you've done it and the world of possibilities is open in front of you so this is why I consider homeschooling a journey and I'm excited to be able to walk that through you now the thing that I will say is one of the coolest things about taking an adventure and going on a journey is that you can take a trail guide whether that be a book or a person you can often take somebody with you or something with you that will help you along the journey and I am excited for this program to be able to be your trail guide, your adventure guide, to be able to help you take those steps to go through the journey with you. So I'm excited to be able to have that with you. Let's get started on the very first module. We're going to talk about what is your why, because that's the very first step that you'll need to take. See you over there.